Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. I have a massive haul. When I say massive, y'all need to be looking at my address. I can't pick this up. Oh my God. Hold on. Yo, I'm not joking. I will say right now, this is a cumulative haul. This is not stuff that I bought all at one time, but it's all from Ulta. 21 Days of Beauty, Fall Sale, um, random Black Friday, <laughs> Cyber Monday. Like, I've been holding on to some of this for a while, but it is time because I'm tired of looking at this box. And honestly, I might have forgot what I bought. So we're going to have a shopping, basically all over again session on camera right now. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I hope you decide to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and turning on your notification bell so you know every time I upload, I do a lot of shopping. Lots of hauls that I share with you, tutorials, reviews, hair, nails, everything related to beauty. So if you wanna see what is in this box, my cumulative big ass Ulta haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, so we're not going in any particular order because I'm not about to <laughs> I'm not about to try to sort this box. So we're gonna pull and talk about it. First, what do we have? Some Love Wellness Bye Bye Bloat Digestive Enzymes. I have added this to my regimen of vitamins daily because I help I feel like it helps me not feel bloated it helps me go to the restroom more regularly and in general i just feel like it helps to keep my waistline small and my belly flat which we all love so these were on sale i think 30 percent off when i got them i've tried different ones i can't say that i have a preference on a particular brand i just grab them when i can get them on sale so i know this brand is really popular at ulta i've tried them before so i decided to get the big bottle since it was on sale and I had a coupon. I'm going to preface right now by saying all of this stuff was on sale or I had a coupon or both. So I don't have to keep saying that. Y'all know your girl loves shopping when I find stuff at a discount. So here we are. Ooh, these are some Kiss Impress Premium Glazed Donut Nails. I love this color and I hope I got more than one. I need to do my nails. So please excuse that. I compete next weekend. So I'm trying to wait until it gets closer so that my nails will last for the competition. But these are a little too long, but love this color. It's almost like a purple, does it say a color on here? Chiffon. So kind of like a taupey gray purple vibe going on, but I think it'll be perfect for winter. Next, I picked up the Bondi Boost Heat Protect Spray. I'm always looking for heat protectants for my hair or for my wigs. This will be used for my hair because this brand is also really good about helping to protect your hair and helping with thinning hair. So always again, gonna grab stuff like this on sale because I go through it pretty quick. Next, I picked up one of the Fenty Beauty Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. I picked this one up in the shade Power Thirsty. I went in and swatched this one. I have Riri too, I think is the other one, but this one is more of a brownish kind of nude, like a caramel shade versus the other one I got was super pink. That is so pretty. <laughs> yes. That is exactly what I wanted. I remember swatching it in the store and I was like, this is the perfect, like, it's still a nude, but it's kind of a brownie nude versus that peachy. Oh, that is so pretty. Peachy beigey nude. And that is exactly what I wanted. So... Love the formula of these. The other one I have is really pink. And I was like, I need to find something more brown. And when I saw that shade, I knew I had to have it. Up next, y'all have seen me haul this so many times. This is one of my favorite cleansers of all time. This is the Murad Hydration AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. You can use this every single day. I love exfoliating. It always helps with cell turnover. If you have dark spots, you have to get rid of the outer layer of your skin and peel back to get to the lower levels of the dark spot, the hyperpigmentation, so that 
it can fade. So exfoliation is really important for that. Also helps to keep your skin clear. Also helps to keep your pores from getting clogged. So I just feel like it's necessary. And this is a really good exfoliant because it's not too harsh. So you can use it every day and it's not gonna mess up your skin a lot. So I probably have at least one, maybe two backups of this, but every time it goes on sale, I try to grab it unless I have like three, then I don't. So <laughs> if it goes on sale again, I'm not gonna buy another one right now, but next year I'm gonna buy another one. This is new to me. This is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Blemish Busting Toner. I've never tried this brand. It was on sale. I've heard a lot of stuff lately about the benefits of snail stuff and how it helps with your skincare and helps to clear your skin and anti-aging and all that good stuff. So I kind of bought into the hype, wanted to see what the big deal was. This was on sale and it says it's 95% snail mucin concentrate, but it says to help clarify and strengthen for even clear skin. My skin's doing pretty good right now, but every now and then I get clogged pores. And so I'm either reaching for my Polish Choice exfoliant or some other kind of toner that helps to decongest your skin. So I thought this would be great to kind of work in that rotation and check out the benefits of all this snail stuff that everybody's been raving about. Next, I picked up this exfoliating hydro towel. These I use every single day. I cannot reach my back <laughs> and I don't like using the brushes that much. I feel like this is a lot easier to get good pressure and I feel like I can use it to exfoliate my whole body and it just, it feels good. It feels like I'm scratching my back while I shower and it's easy to use. So this is a long towel that is rough that you can kind of just stretch out and do your thing in the shower. Then I ball it up and use it to wash everywhere else. So I haven't tried the ones by this brand, but I've tried something similar and I love it. I have one in my shower now. Time to replace it. So glad I found this on sale. Next, I picked up the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I don't know if I have this already, to be honest, but this brand is expensive and I think it was 30% off and I had a 20% off coupon. So y'all know how that works. That feels like it's too good of a deal to pass up. I want to see if this one gives you a white cast because I never love that for my hair personally but I feel like sometimes I can make it work with my wigs, this tape. Um, spray underneath and see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Glad I did that underneath. So, do I wanna keep this? I'm gonna have to see how long ago I bought it, if I can even bring it back, but that is a lot of white. I know you can brush it, brush it through and it's supposed to uh, okay, see white residue. A little residue that can be removed easily is normal. That's how the cleaning works. If you experience more than that, shake the can and hold further away from your head. All right, whatever. <laughs> I know that's what it's supposed to do, and that's just a lot. And maybe I had it too close to my head. It smells really good, though. Yeah, it goes away pretty fast. All right, I'll keep it. We have an eyeshadow palette. I finally bit the bullet and bought this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metals palette. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills formula. I bought the Cosmos palette. I bought the Nouveau palette. I have the Fall Romance palette. And I felt like I just needed to get this one to round out the collection. And honestly, I mean, the colors are gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. I didn't buy it just because like I want to have it in my collection. I would definitely wear this. I think initially I just thought it was a little too bronzy for my taste. I've been navigating more towards cooler tones and more neutrals versus like these redder tones. But I feel like I swatched this in the store. This right here, of course, is right up my alley. This is gorgeous. I love this brown. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? There's enough shades in here that I feel like I would definitely get some use out of this. So let's just go ahead and get it. And then you can stop thinking about it. I think Rose Quartz also got me too. I feel like if I think about something for a long period of time, if I get a coupon, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and just, it is what it is. Like. That's how I justify these things. I'm not spending a lot of time stressing, worrying. Should I, could I, woulda, oughta, hadda, but I didn't. No, I did. We have another set of nails. This is the Kiss Impress Coffin Shape. These are in the shade Miss Me. 
This is not one of their fancy sets. This is just kind of like an everyday set, but I felt like this color was really, really pretty. And I think it'll be perfect for fall, winter. Just, I've been in this neutral aesthetic vibe and I've been wearing it in my clothes. I've been wearing white, who am I? And I just felt like this would go great with either like an olive and then this kind of shade or like my kind of like tan mocha mix kind of look. So yeah, I just, it, it needed to happen. Next I picked up, this is new to me as well. This is the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Miracle Hair Elixir. I have seen great reviews for this brand. I don't know if this is supposed to be just for natural hair or what, but it's a multi-purpose hair oil that is, well, it says a styling serum, caring hydrator, and a heat protector that adds shine, silkiness, and frizz control. Sounds like something I should get some use out of. Y'all let me know something. So I buy hair oils, put them on my scalp, Within a couple days, or not even a couple days, maybe by the next day, why is my scalp itching? Almost like I'm having an allergic reaction to it. I don't know. And I know not all hair oils are supposed to go in your scalp, so maybe that has something to do with it. But let me know if y'all have experienced that because I've tried different oils, I've tried different mixtures, and if I put them directly on my scalp by the next day, my scalp is itching and I feel like I need to wash my hair. So let me know if you've experienced that, if you have some hair oils you've tried that help to moisturize your hair but not make your scalp itch. I'm curious to see if it's just me or is this something that happens generally and if you have any recommendations. Next, I bought another of my now favorite mouthwash. This is the TheraBreath Dentist Formulated Whitening Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. Listen, I don't like Listerine. I don't like it. It burns too bad. I've tried the one that doesn't burn and I just don't feel like it really does as much. I don't know what it is about this brand and how they formulate them, but I feel like this helps my mouth stay fresher longer. And I love using this before bed because when I wake up the next morning, I don't have bad breath. No morning breath. So I've tried different Flavors. This is Dazzling Mint. It says it whitens without peroxide and it's safe to use every day. I think it's the first time I picked up the one that says whitening versus the other one is for longer fresh breath. So I'll keep you posted on how this works. I, I feel like my teeth are pretty white. I use whitening toothpaste all the time. I don't whiten my teeth because they're super sensitive, but I don't know. It says naturally sourced stain fighting enzymes. I like the brand, so I figured let's just try this formula. Okay, I'm excited about this one. So I finally picked up one of the Dior Rosy Glow blushes. I have been hearing about these. Everybody was super excited about that really pink one, and I just could not make myself do it. However, this one is in cherry. Y'all know, I'm sure it's not going to go with this look, but I have to put this on my face. I feel like I heard that these are um more buildable like you have to build them up so i don't think the color is going to be super oh that's so pretty yeah see this is going to be you can kind of see that um one of those formulas that you have to build up which we're going to do right now as if i don't have enough blush on my face oh i can see that <laughs> Y'all know how I am about blush anyway. I do not care. I will wear all the blush and love every minute of it. I just wanted a Dior blush, to be honest. And I did not want that pink one because I didn't think it was going to look good on my skin. These are so small for $40, though. I know you're paying for the brand name. I know. So I got this. This is going to be, I'm going to wear it when I want. But I know this shade would be really pretty for spring. So it will probably get more use then. But like. I just threw it on today and I think it looks good. So happy to finally have one of these in my collection. More from Fenty, I picked up their Gloss Bomb Crystal Holographic Lip Luminizer. So this was special for the holidays and I swatched it in the store. Is this gonna mess up my look? I have to put this on cause y'all have to see what this does. I just, I lost it when I put this on my hand in the store. Oh, can we put it over this and see? Look at that. Yeah, I don't want to, do I want to do that right now? That is so pretty. It almost makes it look metallic. Uh, you know what? So what? 
I feel like it just transforms to whatever you have on already. Oh, and I think that is so pretty. This, I feel like, is something I would keep in my purse just to amp up any look that I have going on. My lips are feeling chapped, despite all the stuff I have on. Um, yeah, so I just think that is gorgeous, and I love how it transforms the shade that you have on. But I swatched it in the store, and I was like, I need to have that. So that was that. We have another set of nails, same glazed donut by Kiss. This is in the shade Mint Glazed. So it is a green, but I've been loving that glazed look. I do want to try to do that myself. I've been watching. Instagram gets you with everything, but I've been watching different like ombre designs with the glaze on top, and it is freaking gorgeous. So I got to figure out how to get this glaze powder and then try this on my nails. I'm going to have some downtime with my surgery. So I will be playing more in my nails when I do that. But until then, we're going to buy press-ons. Next, I bought this Karanique Rejuvenate Healthy Hair Grow Follicle Strengthening Shampoo and Conditioner. I went ahead and bought these together, um, mainly because I feel like when you have stuff like this that says it's for strengthening or growth, they usually work better when you buy them together with the shampoo and the conditioner versus just one or the other. I have not tried this before, but it says it's deep hydration. It strengthens your hair follicles, stimulates the scalp, and reduces signs of shedding. And also the conditioner volumizes hair without heaviness. So this is perfect for my fine hair, and I'm always treating my hair like it's damaged. Sometimes I do have issues with shedding, so I think this will be perfect, especially with my surgeries coming up. I feel like I'm going to be stressed out. And that can make your hair shed. So we're just doing some preventative maintenance right now. Something else I picked up that I knew I was going to get as soon as I had a coupon. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. I have eyeballed this forever. And I was just like, you know what? This is one of those things where you've looked at it, you looked at it. Just go ahead and buy it. Just do it. I picked mine up in the shade Deep Tan. I've been really loving cream bronzers lately. Bronzers and blushes. And, oh, I thought this had a plastic on it. This is what it looks like. All the other ones I have are super deep. I do feel like, oh, that looks way deeper on my finger. I feel like than it does here in the jar. But I feel like that's like the perfect bronze shade. A lot of the other ones I have are really dark. Because I always think like, oh, this isn't going to be dark enough for my skin. And then it's too dark. So I feel like this one is going to be the perfect everyday bronze shade versus a contour. Like my, um, which one is it? I love it. I have it on today. Um, the Elf Bronzer. That one is like the perfect contour shade for me because it's cooler. This one will be great for just bronzing. Next, I picked up a L'Oreal, what is this thing called? This is in Rose Harmony. This is their, it just says lip color. What is the name of this thing? Okay, so I think, no, this is not. I want to say I feel like this was one of the things they were comparing to a YSL dupe or something like that. I honestly don't know the name of it, and I hate that they didn't put it on here, but this is a gloss, but it's like a super thin, thick gorgeous formula and I saw Instagram got me doing dupes of stuff and so I was just like I want to try that so that's what it is but I hate that I can't remember maybe it's on one of these I'm gonna have to try to find my receipt because I don't even know if I bought this <laughs> look that's the third receipt so like I said oh is it on here Juvia Flourish no Okay, I'll try to find it and I'll put the name on the screen if I can exactly what this is, but I just heard a lot of good things about these. So I have one of their other lip products. Jesus, I'm struggling today. I'm just too excited about all the stuff in this box, but we'll talk about it later. This is another L'Oreal product. This is their Glow Paradise in Nude Heaven. Did I read that right? Yes. So I feel like this one is the one that's like the YSL candy, whatever, and the Mario plumping glosses, but maybe not. 
Is this a gloss or a lipstick? Y'all listen, Instagram gets me with stuff and I thought this was going to be a lot more nude than it is this pink. I got to find my receipt for these. But this one, at least you can twist up and twist back down versus the Makeup by Mario one. And what's the other one? I got one by Hard Candy. Like once you twist them up, you can't retract them. This one is not like that. So this is more like a balm lipstick gloss all in one. We have another pair of nails, another set of nails. This is in chocolate glaze. So we had chiffon glaze mint glaze, and now we have chocolate glaze. Clearly, I was on a mission to get all of the glazes. This was another one that I said as soon as I got a coupon, she was going in the cart. This is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter in Sun Idol. I probably have this shade, but the packaging of this one, this is so heavy, so luxe. I was just like, you know what? Swatched it in the store, felt like I had to have it, and it is the kind of champagne-ish gold that I like versus the yellow gold. I'm running out of space. That is what it looks like right there. Super, super pretty. And I feel like if you blend this out, like it just gives you this gorgeous glow or you can build it up. But I love the shade of this. And that's why I was like, I have a lot of highlighters and I want another one. And this was the one that I wanted. Next, this is something new to me as well. A brand I've never tried. This is the Hero Pore Release Blackhead Clearing Solution. Again, I had a little bit of texture going on. I don't know if I was just not cleaning my face well enough or maybe, I don't know what. But I was just having little bitty bumps. Not necessarily like acne, but just clogged pores. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? We're going to add it. I feel like stuff like this you can also use on your body too. This one says it is use it two to three times weekly until blackheads clear up and then reapply weekly so they stay away. It's a powerful, gentle exfoliator that releases blackheads and pore clogging buildup. Salicylic acid, PHAs, AHAs, and lotus water. So I don't know that I have a lot of products that have salicylic acid in them, but I know I've been leaning more towards AHAs and BHAs for skincare benefits. So felt like this was something a little different that I could use to combat whatever was happening with my skin. I also picked up a backup of my Grande Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. I've been using this religiously. I think I have one backup left because I just opened another one. These are $65, so anytime I can get them on sale, I'm gonna do it. I think at one point during all of this stuff, I also had like 10% cash back for Rakuten or Ebates, which I have a link in my description box below. Um, you sign up for that and you use it at different stores and you get cash back and they pay out quarterly. So like I ordered pretty big order, something else I have in here. And I got like, was it 20, almost $30 cash back because it was 10%, maybe more than that. I don't even know. But yeah, so the extra cash back with this and the coupons, like I try to stack to get as much off or as much back as I can every time I shop. This is the other item that I bought that was a big ticket item. This is the GHD Duet Style. This is a professional performance two-in-one hot air styler. So this is basically a flat iron that you can use when your hair is wet and it will help dry. So I wanted to try this because one, I can use it for my wigs, but also for me, I have to blow dry my hair first, then I have to flat iron it and it's just double heat on it. So I feel like this should help me cut down the amount of heat and the amount of time that it takes to style my hair after I wash it. With me having shoulder surgery coming up, I know for a while my shoulder's gonna get tired faster or start hurting. So anything I can use to help reduce styling time is gonna be a blessing. Thank God this was on sale because she is expensive. I think it was $3.99 regular price. It was on sale for $2.79 and I had a 20% off coupon and 10% cash back. I need it all. I'm pretty sure this next stuff was during the 21 Days of Beauty. That's how long this stuff has been sitting. Do not come for me. Just enjoy the haul. Um, this first product is the Hot Tools Pro Artist Heat Bonding Styler. 
I picked this up because I was curious if this was going to be similar to the Olaplex number six, I believe is the Bond cream. And this is less expensive. So I just felt like this would be the perfect time to try it since it was 50% off. It does say it's a thermal protectant styling balm with wheat proteins that helps shield from damage. It helps penetrate and adheres to weakened areas to repair and restore as you style. Say less because I picked up two. <laughs> I didn't realize I did, but I'm not mad about it. Two for the price of one. I also picked up their Pro Artist Heat Lacquer Seal. This is a thermal activated shine spray. I was telling my hairdresser that I feel like when I style my natural hair, it doesn't always look as shiny as I think it should. And then I try to put products in it to make it look shiny and then it just weighs it down. So I'm curious because I feel like this is going to help not only heat protect while I'm styling, but it'll add the shine and I won't have to add anything else on top of it. So it won't weigh my hair down. So I want to see, I'm probably going to use this tomorrow or Tuesday because I have to relax my hair. But I'm just curious to see how this is going to work. It says great for most hair types. I hope my hair type is one of them. Next, I picked up two IGK products. This first one is their antisocial time release bond building dry mask. I saw this online and it got me. This is good for like restoring softness, but also for shine. You put this on at night and it just sits in your hair and does magic while you're sleeping. So I have been really into all of the bond building and just strengthening hair products. Y'all know, every time I talk about hair products, what is it? Damaged, moisturizing, bond building, shine. Like I'm always gravitating towards the same things. I use these mostly in my hair, but I also use them to style my wigs. So you can go through these pretty quick when you're using for both. The other product is their Cash In Instant Repair Serum. It says it's a clinical breakage protector. It gives you 11 times softer strands, 88% split in sealing, and a heat protectant. So again, this is going to be for my hair. This is not going to be used on wigs. Not, yeah, we're not doing that. But it also says it has a biomimetic bond building technology. So Again, bond building, strengthening from the inside out. We still got a good bit of stuff. Comment and let me know if you're still here. I just realized as I was unpacking this stuff that some of this shopping was also from the, what do you call it, healthy hair event? Because I was like, why do you have all these hair products? So we're gonna go through some more hair stuff. I picked up the Redken Smooth Spray. This is their Instant Smoothing and Frizz Protection Spray. All of this hair stuff is because I went to the hairdresser and she put something in my hair and flat ironed it. And I've never gotten so many comments on my hair. Like people were literally like, your hair's so pretty, it's so gorgeous. And you could tell it's yours and just da 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 da. And I was like, what did she use? She won't tell me. I'm mad about that. She won't tell me because I know she wants me to come back. But I was like, you know, I have to be able to find something that can mimic that. So I'm gonna grab all this stuff while it's 50% off. <laughs> and see which ones work. So we got a smooth spray. We also picked up the Chi Iron Guard. I feel like this is a cult favorite, tried and true, like this has been around for a while and I just haven't used it in a long time. This is supposed to be for heat protection inside and out against styling and finishing damage from hot tools. So Always, again, looking for a heat protectant, but I also want a heat protectant that is going to help hold my style because I don't want to use hairspray and then put heat on my hair and the alcohol is frying my hair. I did see that she also used an alcohol-free hairspray before she used a hot tool, so maybe I need to find that, but it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm trying some new stuff. I also picked up the Sebastian Dark Oil Silkening Mist. I actually love the way this stuff smells. I used some the dry oil on my hair yesterday. I hope this smells like that. I don't want to use this on my wig, but I want to smell it. Yep, smells exactly the same. I love the smell of this. And this is supposed to be good to help soften your hair lightweight mist for a silkening effect so it helps to refresh also helps with frizz which i can see 
yeah, this smells so good. Honestly, I got this more for the smell than I did for whatever it's supposed to do. I also picked up the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Heat Styling Spray, another heat protectant that is gonna be for smoothness and shine. I feel like, okay, it's probably, is it too late to bring this back? I need to check my receipts, cause it might be. I said I needed to go check to see if I have this already, but I picked it up because it was on sale for 50% off. This is the Lanza Keratin Healing Oil Hair Treatment. This is basically a hair oil, but it's supposed to help Make your hair incredibly soft and smooth with a healthy radiant shine. Ding, ding, ding. Let me see when I bought this because as soon as this is done, return by January 9th. Okay, good. As soon as this is done, I'm going to go look and see if I have this already because if I do, I might bring it back. It was pretty pricey. I think it was like $60 and it was on sale for $30, $35, maybe $40. Um, so that's why I picked it up. But if I have it already, I know I haven't gone through a whole bottle. So I'm gonna check my stash. This is hair related, but not a hair styling product. I picked up two of the Kits, Kits? I don't know how you pronounce this, but I picked up their satin pillowcases. I picked these up in a neutral shade because it will match my current bedspread. And I always sleep with my hair tied up. Every now and then, I wish I wouldn't have to, but I do because I'm trying to protect my hair. And I have been reading, and I was not paying for a silk pillowcase. Those are expensive. But I was like, let me try a satin one and see how these work for days when I don't feel like tying up my hair. So we're going to see how these work. But these were, I think, $20 each, and I got them on sale for 50% off. Okay, I just um, picked up some hair ties. I did not realize, though, these... I don't know if you guys can see the little balls on here, the little, I think you can. It's hard for me to see it on my monitor though, but these actually grip your hair without damage so they won't slide out. I didn't know this was a thing. It says for medium hair, for most hair lengths, all hair types. No dents, no hair breakage, no tension, no headaches. So. I'm wondering, these may actually be good if you don't want to have to wrap it around your ponytail a lot. Sometimes, like if my hair, my hair is fine. So when I have to put something really tight, it makes my ponytail look like it's like this big. So if I can use this and only like wrap it twice and it'll still stay, but my ponytail can look fuller. That was my thinking. I remember now when I got these. So we'll see. I picked up another lip product. This is also from L'Oreal. This is Breakfast in Bed, one of their infallible liquid lipsticks. She's not open. Let's go ahead and open her. Ooh, this is another pinky nude because Barbara cannot help herself. Uh, let's put you right here. Literally like every shade that I ever pick up. I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> I need help. I picked up. Okay, so this is by Revolution. Haven't picked up anything from their brand in a while, but this is their IRL Filter Finish Lip Definer. Anytime I find a brown lip liner that is retractable, and this is going to be hard to open, of course, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up because I literally use these every day. And let's put her right here. That is the perfect brown. Some of my browns have been a little too dark. Oh yeah, that's pretty. This is going in my purse. I like to keep browns in my purse that are not too dark because I can wear them every day and just put them on. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, Revolution. Especially because you're retractable, I might have to get another one of these. This might replace my Juvia's Place liners. I don't know. We'll have to see how it wears, but this is in Americano Brown. Next, I picked up this Virtue Flourish Density Booster. It helps to stimulate, strengthen, and thicken your hair. It stimulates your scalp and your hair follicles. This was expensive. It says use it on dry or damp hair, spray directly onto the scalp use once daily. So again, if you're having issues with shedding, it's usually related to issues with your scalp or your hormones. And I have had times where I felt like my scalp was just really, really dry. So I'm hoping that this will help with that. I bought a backup of my TG Bed Head Wax Stick. This is $30. I have one and I don't remember paying that much for it, but I use it sparingly 
because it's so expensive and this was on sale for half off so i grabbed it immediately this was a gift with purchase so i'm just going to show all these together this is from benefit this is the pore professional good cleanup pore purifying foaming cleanser and then they also have the pore professional light primer and then they also have the fluff up brow wax which i have never heard of this and hadn't tried it so i always love ulta they do great gifts with purchase and I got that because I ordered two, I think only two Benefit products. I ordered the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I picked it up in the shade four and a half, which is their neutral deep brown. Is this the one I normally, let me double check. I feel like it's the one I normally, yeah, this is the one I normally get. This is the one that has the triangle tip. I always prefer those over the really small ones you down here and I wanted one I have shade five which sometimes can be a little too dark so I picked up shade four and a half I also bought another highlighter because it was on sale and I've heard a lot about this one people raved about it when it came out this is the benefit highlighter in cookie this is a absolutely gorgeous kind of pinky rose gold with a little bit of champagne I don't know I saw it and I was just like I know it's blinding, so this will have to be used, where are we going, with a light hand. Ooh, that is a lot lighter than I thought it was. Ooh. Yeah, she will have to be used with a light hand because, am I keeping that? That is a lot lighter than I thought. Let's see. I have highlighter on, but I feel like you can't see it since I put the blush. So, watch this. Oh no, we can make that work. Definitely with a light hand and have to buff it into the skin, but that is so pretty. Let me put some on the other side. I'm barely tapping my brush into there. Yeah, this is definitely going to be, we want to be glowing. Definitely not for the faint of heart, but you can see as I'm buffing it in, it is helping to diffuse it a little bit. So, okay, she's a keeper. Another backup of my Grande Lash, 20% off, and it was on sale for 30% off. Yes, we got two. I also picked up, I hope I don't have this. I don't think I do. I feel like I swatched it in the store and was waiting for it to go on sale. This is the ColourPop Wisp Super Shock Highlighter. I had another one that I've had four years, and I was like, Barbara, it's probably time to get rid of that one. And so I wanted to get another one to replace it. This is not as, I don't think, where's the other one? Let's put you here. Yeah, that's a little more gold. So that is more, you can blend that out and it'll be more just a lit from within glow. I love the formula of these and they're so inexpensive. I did get it on sale, of course, but I just, I wanted to have this back in my collection because I decluttered the other one that I've had for years. Couple more hair, few more <laughs> hair products. I picked up two of these DP Hue black glosses. This is a semi-permanent hair color. I was telling my hairdresser, I'm tired of looking at these grays in my hair. And she said, don't use a permanent hair color. I should use a semi-permanent. I'm still gonna use a permanent cause I bought it and I'm gonna use it. But after that, I'm gonna use these. I think these are also supposed to be really good with helping to add shine. So gray coverage and shine, perfect. Another Olaplex item that I bought, this is their Volumizing Blow Dry Mist. I have already used this. I used this when I washed my hair a couple days ago and I really like it. I don't feel like it helps to detangle or anything like that. So I had to use something else for that. But this is a heat and humidity protectant it's a volumizer, it's weightless, and it says it's great for blowouts for touchably soft, shiny, and visibly healthy hair. I also picked up another shampoo and conditioner. I love the Briogeo line in general for hair care, and this was on sale. So yes, we need to get it because this is also pretty pricey. I picked up the Super Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. I'ma sound like a broken record. Moisture, damaged my hair. It needs all of the help it can get. So I, I'm trying to remember if I've used the shampoo and conditioner. I have the mask. 
I've also used the hair oil. I can't remember if I used the shampoo and conditioner or not. So again, while it's on sale, perfect time to try it. Another Chi product that I picked up is their Keratin Silk Infusion. I have been trying to start using my blow dry brush more, which I do feel like helps to smooth out my hair better and make it more bouncy as opposed to just blow drying it with a comb. And I feel like this is gonna be perfect to help aid in the smoothness and the bounciness, kind of giving that keratin blowout treatment. I've never had one of those treatments. I've heard good and bad things about them, but sometimes like there's too much heat and they end up damaging your hair. So this is the closest I'm gonna get to it when I do it myself, but I do tend to like the results when I use those types of products. So I felt like, let me go back to the original Chi version and see how that works compared to the other stuff I've been using. Another brow product that I picked up, and I haven't tried this before, this is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Brow 2-in-1. This is a brow gel, but it's also supposed to help grow your brows. So I feel like I have decent brows, but my tails are on the struggle bus and they're a little uneven. I've pretty much stopped plucking them and I'm using castor oil on them to try to help them grow. But I feel like I use a brow gel pretty regularly. So this is just something else to aid in the growth process. I picked up another lip pencil. This is the ColourPop BFF3 liner. I used to always pick up their lip liners and then I just kind of stopped. I've been gravitating towards Juvia's Place. Also because you can't freaking, this is not retractable. But this is another, oh yeah, this is another brown that I thought would be perfect for my everyday lips when I just want to outline and put some gloss on. So that was why I went back to this shade in particular. But I can tell you right now, I probably ain't going to buy it again because I want this in my purse and I'm not carrying a sharpener. So I'll put it in the bathroom, but probably not going to buy it again. Another Grande product. This is, I think this came for free. Yeah, it had to because I didn't buy this. This is the travel size version of the Grande Lash. I do put this in my travel bag. So glad to have gotten another one of these, but this was a gift with purchase. Ooh, I forgot about this. Okay, another ColourPop product. This is their Jelly Much Gel Eyeshadow in the shade Shiny Penny. I thought this shade was so pretty. Where is my scissors to open this? Um, I thought the shade was so pretty when I swatched it in the store. I don't normally use liquid eyeshadows or gel shadows, but I feel like there was something that called to me. Why well, can't I open this? About this shade that I was just like, I just need to have it. Keep me. Oh, okay. They, this comes with a little lid and it basically just tells you to keep it so that the product doesn't dry out. Oh my goodness. This looks very messy. Like I took the top off. I'm scared I'm gonna drop this, but this is what it's looking like. But I picked this one up because it has this kind of green, brown, red flip to it. This is so messy. Let's see if I can swatch it without getting stuff everywhere. Nope, fell on my table. Oh man. Anyway, that's what the shade looks like. So it's kind of that green, red brown shade that I love always. I feel like this reminds me of, is it Bougie? The shade by MAC that kind of looks like this, but this one has a little more foil to it that you can see than the one by MAC. Getting down to the wire, we got about seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine <laughs> more products, but I'll go quick. I picked a backup of this Clean It Zero by Banilico. This is their three-in-one cleansing balm. I've used this before. I've used up a whole one. It was on sale plus the coupon, picked up another one. This is always my first step in my cleansing process for my face. I use a cleansing balm. Then I use a like heavy duty cleanser. Um, right now I'm finishing one of the Clinique foaming ones. And then I use a skincare cleanser that's like a hydrating, moisturizing, has some kind of AHAs or BHAs, something like that as my finishing. So always use three. This is always the first step. Another hair product, another hair oil. This is Donna's Recipe by Tabitha Brown, their strengthening hair oil. It says there are 18 natural oils and powders to stimulate follicles. Never tried this brand, but 
black owner felt like why not something new next i picked up the ColourPop fresh kisses glossy lip stain in the shade sugar snap honestly not sure what made me decide i needed to have this so let's see oh i do remember picking this up okay this kind of reminds me of the sigma glosses in terms of the packaging let me see what this looks like i was wondering if this was similar to the what you call those Ooh, that's pretty similar to the rare beauty um tinted lip oil slash stain thing that they had so that's the shade there i think that's going to be a gorgeous everyday shade i'm going to leave that on my hand to see if it actually stains though we have some more lip products and I think everything here is lips and then we will be done. So this is the Tony Moly Timeless Fermented Snail Lip Sleeping Mask. Now I was kind of hesitant about buying this because I was like, why are you putting snail stuff on your lips? But again, it says, say goodbye to dry lips with this ultra nourishing lip sleeping mask infused with snail secretion filtrate. Also has cocoa butter and hyaluronic acid. When applied as a thick layer before bed, it will deeply sink into the skin's surface to replenish, moisturize, and plump fine lines. We're putting snails on our lips now, guys. That is what is happening in 2023. Same thing, but in stick formula. This is the Fermented Snail Lip Treatment Stick. Wanted to have this to put in my purse. All I have in my purse is like lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. So I wanted an actual lip treatment to have in my purse. And this is the only one that I have. I think that is in a stick form. So no big deal, but will be great to keep in my purse and not make a mess. I also picked up the About Face Paint It Matte Lip Color. I remember I looked at these during some other sale a while back and then I decided not to get it. And then... I went in the store and I swatched these and that was all. This is in the shade Slumber. And I think it's just a gorgeous kind of taupey brown versus, let me put it over here with my other lip products. Cool toned, super gorgeous. That almost kind of looks like a concealer shade to be honest, but I just felt like it's different from other stuff I have in my collection, so it would be a good addition to my collection. We have three products by Juvia's Place, and that is going to be it. So this first is the Nubian Earth Lip Reflect Gloss in Nubian Nude. Is this the swirly one? No, this is just a lip gloss. This is a also cool toned... Ooh... I don't know if I bought this in store. Let's put you here. I don't know if I bought this in store or not, but that is definitely not a shade of gloss that I have in my collection. And I saw that and I was like, this is going to be perfect for winter, fall. That would actually look so good with my eye look right now, but we're not changing it. So something different and Juvia's Place, I love pretty much all of their stuff. It's one of my favorite brands. They always have a sale. I just ordered some stuff. <laughs> they had 45% off on their website and I had a coupon for 15% off on top of that. So I ordered the powder. That's the other gloss. One of their swirly glosses I ordered online. That's going to be coming in. I have two other glosses. This is from their coffee shop collection. I think they both are. Yeah, so I got cookie butter and macchiato. I couldn't decide. I went in the store and swatched them and I was just like, I'm just going to get both. These are so affordable, I don't feel bad about it. This is Macchiato, so again, very brown, but also neutral, gorgeous. Like everyday shade right there, I hope you guys can see that. I feel like that would just add the perfect tint to my lips without being pink. And then this other shade I think is a little bit more, I'm gonna swatch them next to each other to see if I'm losing my mind because why couldn't you choose? They better be different. There we go. Um, these need to be different enough. I don't need to have 50 shades of gloss and they're all the same shade. That's the other one right here. I'm gonna swatch this. Yeah, those are different enough. This one's lighter and a little more neutral. 
I hope y'all can see that. This is a crappy place to swatch. But this one's a little more pink, a little more neutral. This one's a little darker and more brown. Makes sense in my head. All right. I feel like this video is going to be long, but you guys seem to love my hauls. And you know I love shopping when I can get a discount, finding stuff on sale. In my head, I'm saving money because, I mean, we're going to buy it anyway, right? So why not? Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment. Y'all know I love to hear from you. What do you want to see? Do you have any of these? Share any feedback if you've tried them before. I love hearing from you and other people love reading the comments too. So let me know what you think. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's not that